Greetings YouTubicals, how are you today? It's Stiggy here at the Guitar Loft and welcome to another little video. Um, I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about Net Radius um, and basically want to start doing a couple of little videos on how to do your own tools maybe so you can uh, start collecting some. If you haven't got the money to buy them from places like Stumac or the, or the internet and things like that you can make them yourself um, and basically that's what we're going to do look at today. Um, we're going to look at making some radius gauges. Um, quite a simple, easy task, really. You know, if you've got a basic understanding of maths. Um, what you're going to need for this is um, I've got a nice, strong piece of plastic here, a bit of flexible plastic. I've got it off an old folder or something. So cut one up from school, guys. They are useful for some things. Nice sharp pencil, as usual. Um, it's up to you what you want to use. I'm doing it on a piece of paper just to show you the idea. I suggest if you can get a piece of card or you can get some um, some plastic like this. You know, I've got the other piece of plastic underneath, the big, uh, strongish piece of plastic. And a radius gauge basically shows you the radius of your fingerboard. Uh, if you want to do some reshaping or stuff, or if you've got a refretting and stuff and you don't want to take it down too far when, you, when you're sanding, they are quite useful, but they're also quite expensive from places like Stumac. Um, so what I've done here is... Uh, you can use a big compass if you've got a big manly size compass. I don't have a big manly size compass because I don't need one. No comments in the comment section about that, people. Right. Um, yeah. So basically what we're going to do today is this. There are, you know, basically five main, uh, well, six, but I haven't done the sixth one. Um, there are like five main radius that you can get. Um, 7.25 which is more like a vintage Fender, 9.5 which is like a newer Fender, uh, Gibsons tend to be either a 10 inch radius or an 11 inch radius, Ibanez are normally around uh, a 12 uh, and you know like Jacksons and things like that seem to be like a 16 or something so they're like uber flat. Um, obviously you can do all those if you want to but I'm just going to do the main ones that I generally tend to deal with. Um, but if you're going to do bigger radius than that, then obviously uh, stick with it. Um, and literally all it is, is the uh, radius is from a central point out to the edge of the circle. Um, so 7.25 is exactly what it says. From the center point of the circle, 7.25 inches out, right? And then you draw the arc and that's it. Uh, 10 inches, 9.5 inches, 11 inches onwards and upwards. So that's what I've done. So get yourself a drawing pin or something, a nice strong piece of plastic, you can use your compass, you can use a piece of string, you can do whatever. All these things were good for Romans, so they're good for us. Uh, I've already done them, just to show you. You don't need to draw the entire circle, uh, you just need a radius of it. So as you can see here, I've gone from here with a little hole, and this is 7.25 inches. Nice sharp pencil, keep it tight, and away you go. Right, And then you draw. 9.5, 10, 11, 12, 16, onwards and upwards. Um, so if you're doing that on a piece of plastic, that's great. You might need to push on a little bit harder if you're doing it on cardboard, the same. Uh, what I tend to do, if you're going to do this on plastic, uh, which most people I think are going to be doing, get yourself a credit card or something like that. All right, and what you want to do is, I'm trying not to get my ugly mug in here, but it's difficult. Line your bottom edge of your credit card corners up, draw up, and around, and down, and then cut that out, and then basically you just write on in marker pen, 7.25, okay, and then onwards, 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 and then before you know it you're going to have um, basically a full set of these things. I've done it on a full piece of paper, but you're going to need to do it on separate pieces of uh, plastic. Or do it on paper and then cut them out if you've got a steady hand. If you're any good with an exact till blade or a Stanley knife if you're in England, uh, then do it that way. And then what you'll actually end up with is something like that. So you can see that's a 12-inch a one, but 12-inch one. Yeah, so that's it, basically. And then you transfer that onto a piece of... Uh, plastic or whatever you're going to use you could even actually use if you've got like in England you get these kind of things which are like freebies and stuff and they're like you know they if you hold sim cards and stuff like that 
put one on there and if you're good with an exact tilt blade you can go across they'll last an awful lot longer um, than a flimsy piece of plastic or a piece of cardboard but it's up to you it's whatever you've got around the house um, and then just stick a hole, a hole a little hole in the corner and then stick the key ring through it and then you've got them all together so what I'll do is I am going to uh, cut one out now for you and then show you the result okay okay guys so there you go I've cut one out on that little hard plastic um, as you can see I've only done the 7.25 one but you know as you can see it's it's there do you know what I mean it's pretty good plastic it's not gonna stop I've done it with an exacto blade you can do it with some scissors but I've just done it with like a Stanley knife and an exacto blade just to make sure it's right um, be accurate guys you know as slow as you can um, like I said 7.25 9.5 10 11 12 16 whatever you want to do um, you might want to put a little hole in the corner like I said stick a, a key ring through it or something and then you've got a full set um, but they'll last you do you know what I mean some of the cheap reproductions that you get in China and stuff from China are no more than that you know and that's it and that's how easy it is okay um, but that's it you can do it out of paper you can do it out of card this stuff lasts a little bit longer yes it's only flimsy but if you want to do it if you can get hold of some like blank credit cardy things maybe or whatever I don't know uh, I don't want to know where you get these kind of things from but yeah you can do it out of that as well so there you go nice and easy nice and simple nice little radius there for you um, nice and easy if you're going to do some refretting and you're worried about taking a little bit too much meat off that fretboard okay so there you go nice one guys speak to you soon